kudi a cike shirin za ku ji cewa a karan farko tun bayan cikakkar da Amurka ta yi wa Isra'ila akan hara-haran da take kai wazirin Gaza shugaba Biden ya tattauna da Prime Minister Isra'ila Benjamin Netanyahu ta wayar tarho yan sanda a kasar Canada sun kama wani mutum da ake zargi yana da hannu a kisan mutum biyar ciki har da yara uku a Nigeria ma jami'an tsaro ne suka kama mutum 24 da ake zargi wato da safar mai agun kwayoyi a wasu jihohi takwas har ila yau a Nigeria manoma a yankin Zabar Mari dake jihar Borno sun koka akan yadda rashin taki da man Peter ke kawo cikas wajen tafiyar da ayyukan sunan noma wallahi lamarin noma gabi yadda tana kai so noma yanzu a gaskiya yana da matakacci baya akan aiki dan yanzu haka aiki gashi mun zuba iri kasa aikin yana son yi ta karfin mu akwai kuma labarin wasanni da tana tattalin arziki amma yanzu ga labarin duniya Rundunar sojin Isra'ila ta ce ta ce to biyu daga cikin mutanen da kungiyar Hamas ta yi garkuwa da su a wani samami da ta kai a zirin Gaza. An dai sanar da sakin nasu ne daga cikin wani gida da ke rafa jim kadan bayan da Isra'ila ta kai wa garin hummunan hari ta sama. An ce mazan biyu masu shekaru 67 suna cikin koshin lafiya. Sai dai an samu rahotannin da ke cewa an kashe Palestinawa da dama a hare-hare ta sama da Isra'ila ta kai a baya bayan nan. A wani labarin kuma shugaba Biden ya tattauna da Prime Minister Isra'ila Benjamin Netanyahu ta wayar hu. This was the first time the two leaders had spoken since President Biden. Akilin BBC ya ce wannan shine karan farko da shugabannin biyu suka yi magana da juna tun bayan cikakkar da shugaba Biden din ya yi wa Isra'ila kan cewa sojojinta na wuce gona da iri a hare-haren da take wato suke kai wazirin Gaza. Badar White House ta ce shugabannin Amurka ya saki nana ta cewa bai kamata Isra'ila ta ci gaba da shirin ta na kai farmaki a garin Rafa ba tare da wani tsari na tabbatar da tsaron lafiyar farauhu lafiye da miliyan da ke can ba. Dan wasan da ke rike da kan bin lashe gasar wato gudun fanfalaki na duniya Kevin Kiptum ya mutu a wani hatsar mota. Dan wasan na Kenya ya mutu ne tare da coachin sa a lokacin da motar su tai hatsari a wani wuri dake yammacin kasar Kenya da yammacin jiyar Lahadi. Kiptum who was 24 broke the world record when he clocked Wakil da BBC ta ce marigayi mai shekara 24 ya kafa tarihi a wasan gudun fanfalaki da aka yi a Chicago a bara inda ya nasara a cikin sa'o'i biyu da wato dakikoki 35 ministan wasannin kasar ya bayyana mutuwar sa a matsayin wato babban rashi ta labaran duniyar na zuwa muku ne daga sashen Hausa na BBC India ta mara ba da sakin da aka yi wa ƴan kasar ta takwas da aka yanke hukuncin kisa a kasar Qatar a bara Ma'aikatar harkokin wajen kasar dake Delhi ta ce bakwai daga cikin mutanen sun koma gida India. India and Qatar they have been negotiating for months for the release of this. Wakilin BBC ya ce kasashen biyu sun shafe tsan watanni suna tattaunawa da juna akan yadda za a saki mutanen su takwas wadanda tsofaffin sojojin ruwa ne. Ba a dai taba bayyana tuhumar da ake musu ba sai dai kafofin ya da labarai sun ce ana zargin su ne da yiwa Isra'ila leƙen asiri. A watan da san babbara ne dai aka yi musu sassauci a hukuncin kisan da aka yanke musu. An kama wani mutum a lardin Manitoba na kasar Canada bayan da aka gano gawawakin yara uku da mata biyu. Da safiya jiya Lahadi ne aka gano gawar wata mata a gefen hanya. Lokacin da yan sanda suka kawo dauki akan rahotannin da ke cewa wata mota ta buge wani mutum kuma ta tsere a garin Karman dake Kudu maso ya macin wani peg. Bayan sa'o'i biyu da faruwar al'amarin an samu wani rahoto da ya ce wata mota ta kone kurmus. Sanan an gano yara uku a ciki da kuma gawar wata mata wada ita ce ta biyar a cikin wani gida yan sanda sun ce mutumin da aka kama mai shekara 29 da mutanen biyar da aka kashe sun san juna to karshen labaran duniyar kenan daga na sashen Hausa na BBC to madalla yanzu kuma sai rahotanni India ta yi mara ba da sakin da aka yi wa ƴan kasar ta takwas daga gidan yari wadanda wata kotu a Qatar ta yanke wa hukuncin kisa a watan Oktoban bara ma'aikatar harkokin wajen India din ta ce bakwai daga cikin mutanen wato su takwas sun koma gida ga fasar rahotan Ambarasan Etirajan mutanen takwas jami'ar rundunar sojin ruwan India ne dake aiki da wani kamfani mai zaman kansa an kuma kama su ne a cikin watan Augustan 2022 ba dai bayyana zargin da ake musu ba amma kafafan ya da labarai sun ce ana zargin su ne da ayyukan leken asiri 
a watan Oktoba aka yanke masu hukuncin kisa lamarin da ya dauki hankalin jiridin kasar India da ma janyo cece kuce a kafafan sada zumunta a India amma a watan Disamba aka yi sassauci a hukuncin da aka yanke masu daga hukuncin kisa zuwa hukuncin zaman gidan yari bayan daukaka kara ana da iya cewa sakin mutanen 8 da Qatar ta yi babbar nasara ce ga hudar diplomasiyar India Prime Minister India Narendra Modi ya gabatar da zancen su a wata gadawa da yayi da sarkin Qatar a lokacin taron COP28 da aka yi a birnin Dubai amma kon farko na watan Disamba bara Qatar da tana cikin manyan kasashe da India yake sayen iskar gas a wajen su yan asalin kasar India fiye da 8 da yake rayuwa a Qatar inda suke gudanar da ayyuka daban-daban Pasar Rohotan Ambarasan Etirajan Kina To wadannan rahotannin na zuwa muku ne daga sashen Hausa na BBC. To a Najeriya jami'an hukumar hana sha da fataucin miyagun kwayoyi ta kasar sun kama wasu mutane 24 da ake zargi da sabara miyagun kwayoyi a wasu jihohi 8. A cikin wadanda aka kama akwai wani mutum mai shekara 42 wanda ake zargi da sabara miyagun kwayoyi zuwa maboyar yan ta'adda a garin banki dake jihar Borno. Ga rahotan Umar Shehu El Leman. A cikin sanarwa da ya aikewa mane malabarai Director was a labarina who come a yagi the photochi the shamiagum oil he femi baba femi ya nuna chewa chin coming na by a by the suke ya aqua water my time it okida chin water shida. As some men the suke yakega chapki some of the kilogram dubuque that reshida da tara na haram tatung oil a johe an umbra the kanu the borno the undo the do the legas the kuma abuja bubumbin in tara in Nigeria. Sanar wata kara da cewa jimillar mutane 24 ake zargi da fatoci miyagun kwayo aka kama akwai wani mutum Ahmad Muhammad mai shekaru 42 da aka kama da jakun kuna dauke da kwayar tramadol guda 2020 a lokacin da yake shirin safar dubun duba tar kare miyagun kwayoyi na ajigarau nau'in opioid zuwa ga mabuyar yan ta'adda a kusa da garin banki na jihar Borno dake kan iyaka tsakanin Najeriya da Kamaru Kami mafi girma da jami'an nan NDLA suka yi an yi shi ne a jihar Nasarawa bayan samun sahihan bayanin sirri a ran lahadi hudu ga watan Fabrairu wanda ya kaisu ga kama wata babbar mota dauke da bohunan ganyen waiwi 367 mai nauyin kilogram 437 da aka yi safar ta daga Akure babban birnin jihar Undo da za a kai ga unguwar shabu dake jihar Nasarawa an kama mutane uku da ake zargi da suka hada da Shuaibu Yahya Liman da kilogram 89 na wasu kwayoyi masu samaye cikin babbar motar sa da ta tashi daga owo cikin jihar Rondo zuwa Gwagwalada kamin miyagun kayayyaki da hukumar NDLA ta yi na zuwa a daidai lokacin take ce gaba da farautar dalalan haramtattun miyagun kwayoyi tare da gurfan da su a gaban kuliya a baya dai hukumar ta gurfanar da dubban wadanda ake zargi inda daga baya ko tuta yanke musu hukuncin zaman kasu na tsawon musu shekaru Omar Shehu El Leman BBC Hausa daga Lagos a Nigeria to wasu manoma a yankin Zabarmari dake wato karamar hukumar jere a jihar Borno sun koka akan yadda rashin taki da man Peter ke kawo cikas wajen tafiyar da ayyukan su na noma a yankin Hassan Muhammad Zabarmari babban manomi ne a garin kuma yayi wa Abdul Halilu karin bayani game da halin da manoma ke ciki a yankin wallahi lamarin noma gabi yadda tana kai so noma yanzu a gaskiya yana da matakaci baya akan aiki dan yanzu haka aiki gashi mun zuba iri kasa aiki yana son yi karfin mu dan saboda yanzu muna da alkama a kasa muna da tarugu muna da tumatur da dukkan kayan dan yannan yanzu shin ka faci muke ta kokarin zubawa to a gaskiya abin da ya shafi mai taki muna ji muna gani a gaskiya aiki yana son yi karfin mu to kuma inda ya anci gaba da tafiya haka wallahi abun yana razanar da mu yana ba mu tsoro dan ko mu yi hawa hawa yake yadda ka san wuta jeji dan yanzu haka takin dara muke sai 116 yanzu ya kai 226 wayanna al'amura a gaskiya sun maida mana hannun agogo baya ga abun da ya shafi aikin noma ana iya ci yanzu noma rani akwai dan tsaiko gare shi da kofara wallahi akwai tsaiko matukar gaske akan abin da ya shafi aikin noma dan yanzu haka dukkan inda manomi yake hannun shi a gaba yake dan ban mu san yadda wannan noma zai kasance ba akan zo yin shiga ci dan abin da ya shafi mai takin nan magungunan da muke sawa ga dukkan maganin da zaka saye yau dubu shida gobe in kaje zaka same shi sha biyu to kaga wannan al'amari al'amari ne wanda ya fi karfin talaka kuma duk abin da za a ce ma sha biyu yau idan baka sai shi yau din a sha biyun ba gobe zaka same shi sha biya dukkan kayan komi 
ya zama yadda ka san ka je ji to a gaskiya abun ya ba mu firgita abin da ya shafi noman damuna mun samu jarabta ta tsuntsu mun samu jarabta ta bobo abun mun samu da kyaddan abun da aka iba wai yan tugo na kan ma ba a iba ba yanzu mun zo mun shiga noman rani ga noman ranin ya zama muna hakulai amma ai an samu kwance hankali gaba daya zamu cewa eh to kwance hankali to a gaskiya har yanzu dai duk abin da ya zama ba za a yi to gwan tafiya a samu natsuwa da kwance hankali ba to kaga har yanzu dai akwai sauraron rina a kaba amma nan dai 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 inda ake wannan aiki din a gaskiya ba wani matsalan da yake kasancewa sai dai tsadura rayuwa irin ta yau ga ku kuma noma kuna kokawa da tsadar rayuwa ta bangaren abin da ya shafi noma daga bangaren al'ummomi suna kokawa da rashin abinci me kake ga kamata a ce anyi a gaskiya yanzu zaman da ake talaka a gaskiya da Allah ya kadari ya samu kwanciya hankali da ingantaccen tsaro ko gwamnati bata bashi komai ba ya koma ta bangaren noma to a gaskiya gwamnati ta gama mishi komai amma a gaskiya yau dardar sannan kuma kai a noman ka ma ba ka san yadda zaka iya yin shi ba akan matsaloli irin na yau ga matsala ta rashin abinci sannan kuma ga matsala ta abin da zaka gyara abin noman ka din to abin noman ya lalace kai magidanci ina zaka ta kanka sannan mu noman nan da su ba mu da sana'an da ta wuce su shine kula da lafiya makaranta yaran mu sannan kula da lafiyar mu abincin mu da suna cikin wannan noman a damuna mun samu na kasu yanzu ga ranin gashi noman yana son ya gagara an sa ga ya banyan ya banye tana neman ta gagara dan dole ba taki ba ba magani saboda balayin tsada yanzu me kuke so ku ga gwamnati ta muku gwamnati ta dubi girman Allah ta duba mu al'ummar da take jagoranta dan saboda a gaskiya mutane sun shiga halin haulai ga rashin abinci ga kuma rashin kwanciya hankali sannan na biyu abinda za a gyara na noman mai karfin talaka ciki ba komai da me zaka je kai aiki ko da da kanka in kai aiki da kanka ma maganin da zaka sa takin da zaka sa ba ka da daya daga cikin wayannan abubuwan talaka ina zai sa kan shi Hassan Muhammad Zabarmari kenan babban manomi a garin na Zabarmari da haka kuma agogo ke cewa wato karfe 8 sauraron minti 18 a yankin Zabarmari dake jahar Borno a Nigeria kenan wato karfe 7 sauraron minti 18 a agogon GMT da Ghana Tunan gaba a cikin shirin muna tafe da labarin wasanni Madalla to masan tattalin arziki da tsadar rayuwa sun sanya wasu mutane na amfani da wata shinkafa da ake kira a fafata shinkafar dai wato baka ce sosai amma duk da haka jama'a na rububbin sayanta saboda a ce wasu ba sa da kudin da za su sayi mai haske ga dare hotan Zahraddin Lawal nan ina wani wuri da ake sayar da kayan abinci nauyin hatsi dawa shinkafa a layin kunannan gidan mai a yankin Dorayi a jahar Kano amma jama'a sun fi sayan samfurin shinkafar nan ta a fafata ko ci kar ka mutu ga ta nan baka ce sosai sai ka lura sosai ma ka sa ido zaka iya tsantar mai dan haske a cikin ta ba damuwar siyar ita jamilar to kaga dole kai hakuri ba zaka bar kanka da yunwa ba to ine dalilin da yasa wace kake siya kenan a fafata nake siya fafata nake siya kana ci kana cin sakuwa ya zaka yi to amma ga ta baki kirin fa a to ya ya zaka yi dole ka ci a ka kakka mutu ai rashin rashin babu yi yake kawo ba no ce mudu daya yanzu ba mudu daya fafata wan ita suke siyan wannan da ita to sai dai wannan matar ta ce ta rena sayan a fafata saboda gudullar rura ƙarshen shinkafa a marasa kyau ita ce a fafata ita muke samu muke siya to abin da yasa na dena siyan a fafata yanzu gaskiya akwai ran da na siya na dafa ya yana wallahi har akwai mai a maida guda a ce sa kwata kwata na dena siyan a fafata saboda za ta iya bada matsala a ciki yanzu wace kika saya na gansu ga sukaloli da bakaye da farare gaskiya na sai cika kai cikar ka mutu abin da yasa na sai ya cikar ka mutu ba don komai ba saboda dan samu dan sassauci amma na ga ita din ma ga ta nan baki shi to ya za a yi da lamarin rayuwar nan shugabanni da manya manya ya kamata su duduba yanda talaka suke ciki wannan rayuwar cikar ka mutun noce gaskiya tana kai a kusan 2200 da wani abu mudu daya eh mudu daya tana kai 2200 
amma ga can wata farakal wannan ta kai naira 1500 gaskiya sai masu ido da kwalli sune za su ci wannan amma ga duk baki a ciki kamar yanzu ma aka to da da gona ai mai kyau ci ha ga kai abubakar kabir shine mai sayar da wannan shinkafa ya ce shinkafar da yake sayarwa ta kai kala biyar na tambaye shi komai yasa aka fi sayan a fafata abin da yasa aka fi sayan su gaskiya sune masu dan sauki wanda talaka zai iya siya me saukin saukin shine 1800 shine saukin nasu amma wadda ta fi kowace haske anan kamar wannan noce kamar wannan tana ka 300 ana samun ta 300 ma da 500 to duka dai ga su nan akwai ta 2800 ma duka kun kuma ba ita ba akwai ta ta dambu ita ma duk kanana kanana ce to dai mutane suna yawan siyanta to mu ba mu gane ya dambun suke a kai dai amma mun samu wata ta ce mana mallaka a haka suke rafa ta ita ce 2200 kwano wasu ma to ga gan busuke suke siya wasu su sai indomi a awo ga sunan dai duk abin da dai yake akwai mai dan sauki sauki shi aka fusiya amma kuna ciniki ko sosai kamar da gaskiya dai yanayin cinikin sai a hankula sakamakon yanayin tsadar da kai suka yi mai siya rabi ya dawo gangwani biyar shida mai siyan kwano ya dawo rabi da kwata haka duk abin ya tabarbare gaba daya ba da dila maran ya kike fama da yan bashi wutukila sai an dan samu faraga mutun yazo ya biya gaskiya ne guduwa ma nake yi in bai ya ga shako wallahi in suka zo sai ga shine to aga didda sun ce mai kaga sai su ce ba sai ya ce musu ba na nan in ba haka ba kuma wallahi ba na samun sauki akwai wanda kana jin kunyar sa haka nan dole sai ka dauka ka washi to abun kuma da wata nan dole kaga cutuwa kake yi shinkafa dai ita ce fitaccen abincin da akasarin jama'a suke amfani da ita kuma ga alama saboda ita ne yasa didda rashin kyan wannan shinkafar jama'a suke sayanta da halinta sai dai bayanai na cewa tsadar kayayyaki ta tilistawa jama'a da dama komawa amfani da nau'in abincin da ba ka safe ake ci ba kamar dankalin Hausa da sauran su hukumomi dai yana cewa suna iya bakin kokarin su wajen kyautata yanayi da kuma samar da tallafin rage radadi a matakai daban-daban amma masu nazari na cewa akwai bukatar gwamnati ta sake taku muddin ana son kawo ƙarshen koke-koken matsin rayuwa da wasu yan Najeriya ke yi Zaharuddin Lawan BBC Hausa daga Kano a Najeriya to yanzu kuma ga Abdul Halil ku dauke da labarin kasuwanci da tattalin arziki farashin alkama kasannin duniya ya kai yiro 338 tan daya sai dai duda haka wasu bayanai na cewa farashin ya ragu da kishi 30 cikin 100 ina aka danganta shi da farashin shekara da ta gabata a daidai wannan lokaci a Najeriya wannan lokaci da ake ciki farashin kayan masarufi sai tashin gwaron zabo a kasuwar ni a Maiduguri babban birnin Jihar Borno ko yaya lamarin ya kasance Hajiya Fatuma wata magida ce ce ga kuma abin da take cewa game da farashin kayayyakin masarufi a birnin na Maiduguri ko me a Maiduguri a tashi musamman kayan masarufi ba shinkafa shine abincin za a ce ma abincin talaka wanda ka ji za ka samu da alhaka saya za ka ji an ce maka dan karamin kwarin shinkafa a ce 2500 wa ke ma haka kuma dai ya tashi gaskiya ba garin kwaki ina gai inda ba mutane ba su damu da shi a garin nan ba amma yanzu ko shi ma wallahi ana so ma ba a gani sai dai mu cire Allah ya rufa mana a ciki gaskiya tsadan kan yayi yawa wallahi fulawa yayi tsada to kaga kuma yara makaranta shine abincin su ka ga inda mai nan fa yanzu 300 fa guda daya irin mai dan jimbon nan abincin yara fa na zuwa makaranta ta gagari iyaye ministan tattalin arziki na kasar Burkina Faso Abubakar Nakanabo ya sanada cewa kunge ekwas ko kuma sai da yawo za ta yi hasarar kudin shiga da yawan su ya kai miliyar ko kuma biliyan 45 na dala sefa duk shekara sanadiya fitcewar kasashen Burkina Faso Mali da kuma Niger daga cikin kungiyar suka kafa kungiyar IOS wato Alliance des États du Sahel Abdul Halilik Abdul Halilik yanan da labarin kasuwanci da kuma tattalin arziki da hukumomi a Jamhuriyar Demokradiyar Kongo sun shida BBC cewa akwai bukatar Britaniya ta yi amfani da alakar ta da Rwanda wajen hana ta ci gaba da daukar nauyin mayakan wato yan tawaye M23 ana da zargin mayakan da aikata muna na lefukan cin zarafin fararen hula da a Jamhuriyar Demokradiyar Kongo zai daga gwamnatin Rwanda ta musanta zargin ga fasara rahotan Mayeni Jones jira gan sojoji kenan a lokacin da suke shawagi a sararin Samaniya yayin da mutane ke gudu a jitunan birnin Goma na Jamhuriyar Demokradiyar Kongo ayi cewa daya daga cikin ayyukan jin kai mafi muni a duniya ya kara tabarbarewa 
ama kwa ninda sika gabata soju mkwamnati dina entawa yang M23 Sengara sabi ntakaiwa juna muna nang hara haramba mabamai Lamarande ya hadda sadabampara hula atzire wa mahalansu Ariwa chinyanki nkivu da kuma burlunguma Mata inundina atapuni ya chikimau ya chonghali Lokeda kayansa aka Babu takalimi Wasisura rukuma achikimuto chiku kuma babura Enda jame awanzada zamala pia ki musara kia Pascal Bashali ya atzire da bagarin saki Mainisan kilomita ashirin da biyar daga arewa musu ga bashin birnin goma tare da mai dakin sa da kuma yaya tara sakamakon harin da M23 ta kai a ranar larabar da ta gabata kutayi shi mwayibi ya kila siku lewa na kesho ni kukimbia lewa na kesho ni kukimbia har tsawon wannan lokaci zamu ci gaba da zama a haka kullun sai M23 sun kai mana harhari ta ya za a zuba ido sulala ta yanke mu ko kasar baki daya kun gaba ta su bace ta mu ci ilimin umbe ne ita ma apa jajan ta tsere daga birnin na goma ta ce mun tsere ba tare da daukar komai ba yadda kika gamma a haka haka muka fito baba abinci baba sutura muna bukatar taimakon wurin zama da abinci a asibitin gwamnati na Batseda da ke goma kungiyar agaji ta Red Cross da yana taimaka wadanda suka ji rauni kungiyar ta ce an samu karuwar wadanda da kitchen ya rutsa da su cikin makonnin da suka wuce dai daga cikin marasa lafiyar wani dan kabukabu ne mai suna mun dake Kanduwado dan shekara 25 wanda har ranar Laraba ya rutsa da shi a sake ni shekara mu ji explosive bomb ne to piga da sake din shekaran jiya nake asibitin nan sakamakon fashewa ni bam a sake Naji muna na raunika chiki harada mara tada kuguna sabu da wani karpi di yede kini. Kuzi shikara gome kirendi yada soji nda ki mara gome tibaya ki yagi da entawa yang M23 aja mhuri ya demokrati yara kwa mwa masama madi yanki me albarkatuma adenai. Gome tideye tasha nana atazarigin chiwa ala da okar na wing entawa yang nida kakasa shanki itari. Nanghaka menisa nsadaru wa Patrick Muyaya ya chiloka chiya yi da kasa shangwa jizas shika chikin wanda la marido mamma gan chishi. We all know the reason of violence. We know Wanda is the one who's doing those bad thinking. Mansaw Rwanda na da hannu kan abin da ke faruwa a gabashin Kongo. Mansaw gwamnatin Rwanda tana da alakar kudde-kudde gwamnatin Burtaniya. Abin da muke bukata shine Burtaniya ta yi Rwanda magana ta tsame hannunta daga aikata mugunta ga kasar mu. Su kwashe sojojin su, su kwashe su. Su daina bai wa yan tawayen M23 talafi. Pasara kalama minister nsadarwa na jamhuri ya demokrati ya rikongo Patrick Muyaya kena apasara rohota Mayeni Jones. Tuwe zikumaga umarumika elda labaru mwasani. Aiburu kwa stai na sara lashi ga sara kupu ng aparika karo na talatinda huta da takar ubao kwa nchi bayan doki na ajiri ya chibi da dea wa sankare shi. Nigeria ce ta fara cin kwallota nan Trus Ekong bayan minti 38 da take wasa kafin Frankesi ya farke ta aminti na 62 ana saura minti 9 wasa ya kare kuma dan wasan Borussia Dortmund Sebastian Hola ya kare ta biyu wadda ta baiwa masu masaukin bakin nasara a gaban yan kallo 1794 banda kwallon da Ekong ya ci har aka tashi Nigeria ba ta kai harin da yana furaga ba kai tsaye wanda ake kira shot on target a turanci inda ita kuma Ivory Coast ta buga takwas karo na uku kenan da tawagar ta da elephants ta dauki kofin na Abcon bayan yin hakan a shekarun 1992 da kuma 2015 kuma so uku kenan tana doke Nigeria a gasar cikin wasa takwas da suka buga a tsakanin su tsalle tsalle da kada kada da bushe bushe babu irin wanda ba a sha ba bayan busa usur din karshe a filin wasa na Alassan Watara ibn Fe Wani mugu wa yumbayang Ebru Koski na nyeche ya uranaji itaparin chiki awajina sabu da kasar mutasa muna sara. My name is Samira Bashi. Amazing! I can't even describe. Sunana Samira Bashi. Wanang abunjin dati ni su sayi badam maa iya sabu.